Well, it was nice to win that two out of three from these guys. The guys played well today. It was nice to see home runs from the middle of our lineup. Uh, I think all our runs were scored uh, on two, with two outs, so that was, uh, that was encouraging. We did that in San Francisco, too, I think, a few times. Um, uh, Velasquez pitched very well. Uh, we had some concerns. That's why we, we went out early, uh, because we didn't see the velocity. But uh, he assured us that he felt fine. He just thought maybe it was a dead arm that he was going through, and he wanted to stay out there with no, no complaints. So we let him go. And he started raising his velocity a little bit. But one thing that uh, uh, he learned out of that was he pitched really well. I mean, he mixed it up. He, he, he didn't have his above average velocity, but he made a lot of great pitches with his secondary stuff and uh, did a great job. Um, pretty much it. Is it tough to t trust a guy in that when you have to make a split second decision whether or not to keep him in the game or pull him out? Because I guess they usually tend to say, I'm fine, let me, let me stay out here. Well, you have to trust them. You know, uh, if, if we were going to let let's see what happened uh, during the course of that inning and make sure, but he, I don't think he would lie to us. He was very open uh, about it the last time, and he said he felt fine, no, not one bit of pain anywhere, so he just he wanted to stay out there. Given, given that the last time he got injured, he only lasted two pitches, was it kind of like deja vu when you headed out there after only five? You're not kidding. It was, uh, we, we thought, oh, no, not again, but uh, once again, he assured us. He was very honest last time, and we, we didn't take any chances. This time, we just wanted to see if he needed to uh, stay out there and loosen up, and uh, of course, the rest is history. He, he pitched it very well. So he, he wasn't in any pain when he went out there. You just saw a dip in velocity, and you wanted to check. No pain. Last time he had said in the bull, in his bullpen before the start that he felt something, and then you let him go out. Did he do the same thing today, or you saw the velocity on the scoreboard? And that we just saw he was fine in the bullpen, and uh, he went out there, and we we saw the velocity uh, numbers, and they weren't good. Uh, that's why we went out to make sure and all he had to do is say one word and we were going to take him out but he assured us and he wanted to stay in and obviously uh, he was fine because he pitched well and after the game he said he felt great. And what did today, you learn about his ability to, I know you mentioned earlier, but his ability to pitch today without you know having an overpowering fastball? That's extremely important. I mean he just uh, did such a good job with his secondary pitches, his two-seamer, his changeup. Uh, you know, he made a mistake with the changeup to Gordon, but uh, other than that, he made a lot of great pitches, and I think he probably learned a lot about himself uh, by going through that and having to pitch that way because he just didn't, I guess he just didn't feel he had the, the overpowering fastball, but he hit up to 94, I think, a couple times, and so I think he, I think he's fine. Michael's kind of been on a little bit of a, a hot streak recently. I guess what changes have you seen? Well, he's... He's always aggressive, and aggressive hitters are always going to uh, come up big uh, now and then. He's concentrating on trying to stay. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but he's trying to stay up the middle, and he's trying to keep his head in, in a, better, a better position with every swing. It's hard for him to get out of that because he's, he's so aggressive, but um, he's just making better contact uh, because, because of that. It's, it doesn't look I mean, he still has his moments where he spins off the ball, but uh, they're f uh, few and far between now. What have you done offensively in the last two? When you left here two Sundays ago, you guys were in a terrible funk, and you seemed to come out of that during that trip and extended here pretty much for the first three games. What has happened in your mind? You know what, Bob? I, I don't know exactly what's happened. I just know that we had it had it in us. I always felt, even for the first two months, that we were a, we were a better hitting team than we showed, and it was kind of an enigma on why we weren't hitting better and I, it just took a little time and now the guys are as a group they're starting to hit you know it, it helps when you got a guy like Borges who came from nowhere up to 270 that's an unbelievable story in itself uh, and I think you know the other players feed off of things like that you know it's I, well I can do it too and I know that's not uh, a scientific answer but that's the best I can do. You're getting, you're getting hits up and down the lineup in these last several games. So is that a product of, I mean, these, are, these guys are young and being able to feed off each other like you sort of just touched on? Yeah, without question. You know, the guys, um, you know, it takes one or two guys to get it going. It takes a little pressure off everybody else. And I think uh, as a group, they, uh, they always pull for each other. That's one thing that uh, is very noticeable to me in the dugout. They, they all pull for one another all the time. And they don't quit, and uh, that's really uh, 
uh, remarkable under the circumstances, but I'm happy about that. If you look at Cam's numbers, ranks among the leaders, uh, league leaders among his catchers, AL and AL, do you think it's because he's in that sweet spot in terms of playing time, or do you think he could play a little bit more and still be as productive? That's a tough question. I'm, you know, I'm tempted to play him a lot more, and he's been playing a lot more than Chooch, but I want to keep Chooch uh, uh, sharp. Um, it was that, that ball he hit, hit to right field it was at about neck high, which was nice. I mean, he's been concentrating on not missing fastballs up in the zone, which are home run pitches for him, by trying to stay on top of those pitches. And it, it certainly looked like uh, he did that uh, today. And good to see Ashy hit the home run. And um, from the middle of the lineup, it was nice. But uh, that being said, you know, things will work its way out. I think part of not playing as much <coughs> could keep him strong. You know, he's a big guy. Uh, that could be part of it, too. Did, did, you guys make a, did you guys make a decision on uh, Nola yet? Yeah, he's, not, he's going to miss his start. Okay. We're going to keep him around and uh, just clear his head, uh, give him a little bit, little bit of time off. We'll probably have, like, a simulated game at some point uh, to keep, get him back on the mob. But he will start. Uh, Again, after the the uh, break, so who's gonna start on Thursday? we don't. We're going to determine that over the next three days. Okay. From from a team standpoint and an offense standpoint, do you feel like you've come out the other side from that awful stretch you went through? Do you feel like you you've come out of that now and you and that's passed? I think we've come out of it, Bob, only because uh, we've sustained our our uh, offense since we left on the road trip and we've carried it through into coming back home. So. You know, we've gone through a, quite a, what, 10 days or so to where we've been swinging the bats pretty well as a group. And I think because of that, uh, we're going to, you know, we're behind where we were before or ahead of where we were before. You, you said you thought it would, but. I thought it would. You know, sleepless nights and doubts because it was so extended. Yeah. Well, no doubt, you know. And like I said, uh, I think when Peter Borges started hitting, Everybody kind of they, they kind of woke up and said, "Hey, let's go." I mean, that was that's a fabulous uh, run he's gone through. Back on Nola for a second. Is Yesterday you had no questions because of fireworks. Now everybody's <laughs> asking questions. <laughs> Sorry, Cooney. Uh, is the point you say simulate game? I mean, do you think it's going to be time for him to correct mechanical issues on the side? Is that what well, I think he for? those last three innings that he pitched. Um, I, it looked like he corrected his mechanical uh, problems, but you just don't want him to go that long without being on the mound. And we don't want him to start uh, uh, just to get him back on the mound. And then he'll come back uh, after the break. Talking about Rupp again, how much more significant has he made his role at this point than you maybe thought he would have at the end of last season? He's really... Uh, He's really making a run at it. I mean, this guy is, he's, what's he up to, 290, 280 something uh, with, with power? And, um, you know, we're looking for guys that can hit. And, uh, you know, the c catching positions are mostly a defensive position. He's done adequately uh, as a catcher. He's got a, uh, you know, a strong arm. But now the fact that he's hitting and with power is a real, uh, real treat. I mean, it's good to see.